In this video, I'm going to show you how to read a chi-square table in order to get the critical chi-square values you need when trying to calculate a confidence interval for population standard deviation. It's kind of unfortunate that our calculators don't have a quick couple buttons to do all the work for us, so instead we have to do this kind of by hand. So here's how it's going to work. You look at the problem and it says we want a 90% confidence interval. So what that means, if you draw the picture of the chi-squared, it looks something like this. Remember, chi-squared, it starts at zero, so there's nothing negative in it, and it's not symmetric, it's kind of skewed right here. But what we want for a 90% confidence interval, we want the middle area to be 90%. That means there is a total area outside of 10%, which means there's going to be 5% on the right and 5% on the left. So if I want to find this chi-squared value right here, first off, I need the degrees of freedom. And we saw for this type of problem, degrees of freedom was n minus 1, which is 24. So I'm going to be looking down here at the row 24. I'm ignoring everything else in the table because those are for different degrees of freedoms. And then I want the part, I want the value that the area to the right of it, you see this table talks about area to the right. So the area to the right is 5%. So I look, oh, area to the right is 5%, go down here. And that means this chi-squared value which is what's going to go on this left part here. That's 36.415. Now, to get the other value, that's this value right here, we are not going to look up 0.05, because in fact, if we look at 0.05, we get the same number we just did. We want the area to the right of it, area to the right of this value here, so the area to the right of this value, well, there is 90% in the middle and the 5% to the right. That means the total area here is going to be 0.95. And so we look over here, 0.95, scroll down, and that means this critical value is 13.848. Now I do want to point out something to make your life a little bit easier when you're doing these problems. If you look carefully at the formulas up here, one says chi-squared alpha over 2. One says chi-squared 1 minus alpha over 2. And so that means that the area you're looking for for the second value is always 1 minus the first one. So once I figured out one of them was going to be 5%, I could just do 1 minus that. And I have to think too carefully about, you know, what number it is. Just do 1 minus it. That gets you your second value right there. So this is how you read a chi-squared table. Thankfully, we don't need this all that often in this class, but there are some times we do, and so you're gonna to want to be able to know how to read this and have it handy when you're doing problems for estimating the population standard deviation, specifically for these confidence intervals.